So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create paths from one location to another on a map, right? So this is really helpful for visualizing, for example, travel patterns or the movement of trucks or whatever it might be and to show it on a map. So let's begin. Let me open up Tableau and then let's load up our data set. And if you want to follow along, feel free to download this data set. It is in the description below. Let's bring it in. So I've uh, intentionally used a data set that looks like this. So let me explain this a little bit. We have here 300 routes, right? So each row is a route. And the routing is um, the person or the vehicle is traveling from station one to station two. And these are postcodes. So because I haven't labeled this postcode one, postcode two, Tableau is actually set as a number. Uh, we need these as postcodes. But before I change it, we have to alter this structure. Now, typically when we get start point endpoints, similar to things like um, actual versus estimate, um, estimated um, delivery date versus actual delivery date, those kinds of things, typically they're given as two columns. But a lot of the times when we try and solve it, we need them in a single column. So we need to actually convert this. And the way we can do it in Tableau is simply pivoting. So if I hold, if I click the first one, I typically like to click on the, um, the data type name or the, the data source name here are routes. And I right click and go pivot. It restructures my data. So now I have the stations in a single column and I have the postcodes in another one. So now I can change my geographical role to postcodes. And there we have it. So that's kind of like step one. So now let's get into sheet one and let's visualize. Actually, I've got to rename this first, which I forgot. Let's call this station. Let's call this postcodes. Okay. So the way to do this is first, let's visualize the individual locations. Okay. Now, if you get something like this, where you get a lot of unknowns, just be sure to always check your map locations. So this data is from the United States. So let's make sure it's set to that. And we go. Okay. That looks a lot better. So I want to see the routing, for example, let's say if I just pick one, if I pick route, maybe route one and route two. Okay, I want to see a line that goes from route one to route two, whichever, oh, sorry, from station one to station two. So the way I do that is firstly, I have to set this to a line. That's the first thing. Now you can see here, it's actually connected every single dot, even though route one and route two aren't related. So we actually have to tell Tableau how to split it up. And the answer is the route. So if I just take route and drop it into color, it should split them up. There we have it. So we actually have route one and route two, which is the orange. So if we get rid of this now, we should see every single route in the United States in our data set. There we have it. Now this is a little bit busy, so we can actually kind of chop this up depending on our data type, but I really just made a massive data set. So let's say I wanted to split this up by uh, membership type. I can drop that into columns and it will split it up. So just depends on your data set. You could have something where it's like travel times. So you can restrict it to just the last week or whatever it is you're trying to do. Now, one last thing I will show you that may be helpful is if I bring route back into the filters and let's just pick a few just at random. Maybe one more and go OK. All right, so we have a number of routes here. Okay, and I want to show station one and then station two as a circle. Well, how would I do that? Now, this is where the dual access really comes in handy. So if I hold control and I duplicate longitude, I get two of the same thing. Okay, so firstly, we want to click on this once so that it brings up this menu. And I'm going to select circle. So now we have these as individual circles. Then I want to put a number inside saying one or two. 
Now in our particular data set, if I go here to edit data source, we actually don't have a one or two, but we can rip it off here. So if I go here and go create, no, not create, uh, a custom split, I can just say split it by the space and just give me the last one columns, which will be the one, two, three, and so on. Go okay. So now we have that as the name. So let's call this station short and we go back to sheet one. So now in here, I can add that station short in. So if I drop this into the label, all right, you'll see this one or two. We want to bring that into the center of the circle. So just put it in like that. And then finally, we just want to do a dual axis. So if I right click this and go dual axis, there we have it. And then we make these circles a little bit bigger. All right. Yeah, you can actually see one and two. So this is the start location. That's the end. Start, end, start, end, start, end, start, end. And that's it.